Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to test a spark plug wire. Do you have a friend who's interested in DIY projects? Be sure to refer them over to my channel. Over time, spark plug wires will wear out, causing various engine operation issues such as hard starting, misfires, rough idles, poor performance, poor fuel economy, and improper combustion burn. Spark plug wires normally last about 100,000 kilometers or 60,000 miles. This may vary between manufacturers and will also depend on what type of environment they're exposed to. As a visual inspection, you can look at the wires for any cracking, cuts, scrapes, or burned exterior casing. Inspect the boots at each end for any damage as well. Inspect the terminals for any corrosion or perhaps they are not holding tightly onto their connections. In a darker environment or at night while the engine is running, you can also inspect the wires for any leaks, which is normally shown by a spark and an audible tick or click. While the engine is running, you can also take a spray bottle and lightly mist water onto the wires, which will normally make the engine idle rough if there is a leakage in the insulation. Moving on to testing the wires using a multimeter. Test values will be affected by what type of spark plug wire is used, along with the length depending on the type. For copper core wires, the resistance will be 1 to 6500 ohms. For inductive wires, the resistance will be 2200 to 8000 ohms per meter, or 650 to 2500 ohms per foot. And then for carbon wires, the resistance is 10,000 to 23,000 ohms per meter, or 3000 to 7000 ohms per foot. Keep in mind these are generic values and may vary between vehicle manufacturers and spark plug wire manufacturers. If you search some type of performance suppliers, you will see given values per length for resistance ratings on different styles of spark plug wires, even if they are one type of conductor inside, will vary. What type of wires your vehicle has will depend on what your manufacturer calls for or if someone has upgraded them. First I'll be testing carbon core wires. Start by measuring the length, which is about 2 feet. I measured from the end of the boot, but technically the terminal sits inside about an inch, and then the wire starts about half an inch back from there. For this, I'll be using a generic value, so we are looking at a measurement of 6,000 to 14,000 ohms. Setting the multimeter to the ohm setting to measure the resistance on the 20K setting, which will allow us to see values in a 10,000 range. Touch the test probes together to determine the existing resistance in the test leads. Then hold one test probe on one terminal, and then the other test probe on the other terminal. This wire shows 10,000 ohms, which by generic specs is good. Moving on to the next wire, again it's about 2 feet in length, slightly longer than the first one. Again touching the test probes on the terminals, we are looking at a value of about 13,000 ohms, which is becoming on the high end of the generic range. Even if the wires do meet within their specifications, it doesn't necessarily mean they are still in good condition as the insulation could be failing, the terminals could be corroded, or perhaps the conductor inside is broken and that would show up if you started bending the wire while testing which creates an open circuit. Now testing almost brand new wires. These were replaced about 5000 kilometers ago. These are an inductive wire instead which would see much less resistance than compared to a carbon core wire. I know this wire is about 2 feet long as it's the first wire that was tested in the old set. So we should be expecting about 1300 to 2500 ohms. For removing the cable, make sure you do twist and pull to reduce the risk of damaging the wire. For more information on that and what type of damage that can happen, be sure to check out my tech tip video on how to remove a spark plug wire. Set the multimeter to the ohm setting. Here we can use either the 20k or 2k. Again, touch the probes on the terminals and check the reading. We are looking at about 940 ohms. While this is below the generic range, these are a high quality wire so the resistance is less. So as mentioned before, check your vehicle specifications or the spark plug wire manufacturer specifications. And finally, a little bonus to show you a cutaway of an old carbon core spark plug wire. First a cross section cut, and you can see the internal components but it doesn't give you a good representation, so I'll do a little cross cut instead. Here we can see the silicone outer jacket that protects the internal from heat and chemicals. Next is a fiberglass braiding to strengthen the wire so it doesn't get damaged 
while also allowing for flexibility. The insulation stopping any voltage leaks. Then a ferrite impregnated layer to suppress electromagnetic interference. And finally the carbon impregnated fiberglass core where the electricity flows. You can see the black residue on my finger which is carbon. Be sure to stay up to date with my latest videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Let me know what you think of it by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching.